So, um, what are my expectations for version 3.8? So let's start things off with the um, the character banners. Number one, the one character that I'm looking forward, forward to see the most, even though I will, I it is very high likely I will not be pulling for her. The character I will pull, I'll be looking forward to see in version 3.8 the most in the character banner, Eula. There has not been a Eula rerun for the past 547 ish days. So I really, really hope that even though I know I won't be pulling for her, I at I really want to see Eula in the character banner because Eula Wanters have been waiting for 500 plus days to get their hands on her. I'm pretty sure a lot of free to play players they want they want a pool for her, they want Eula, okay? I'm pretty sure they want her. If not, hell, a lot of hell is gonna break loose. I, I will see this. Another thing uh, I want to talk about Eula is right. Um, hopefully that Eula gets a um, paid outfit or some sort because I noticed right ever since uh, version 1.6 uh, during the the summer during, at this moment of time right they Hoyoverse will release a um, paid outfit or and a free outfit or some sort. It happened in version 1.6, it happened in version 2.8, so I expect uh, at least two characters getting alternate outfits. And one of them is definitely a paid outfit, and I hope that paid outfit belong, uh, goes to Eula. Once again, Eula, there has not been a um, Eula rerun for the past 500 days, so I think this is the best opportunity not only for people to pull for Eula, but to get, um, but for people, but to get their their outfit as well. And from Hoyover's um, point of view, right, they it is um, a very good way for them to make more money in some sense because. So yeah, I I that Eula is for me like I think Eula is like the best character to get the. To get a new outfit, then again, um, I might be wrong, but I just hope um, it's Eula. Okay. As for the free character, I just can't think of any four star character at the moment. Let's just see um, how things goes. Okay, and back to the um, character banner. There's another character, five star character that I would uh, personally want. To see, I've been I mentioned this quite a few number of times. Uh, that this that this character is my highest priority for me to pull, which is Sangnomiya Kokomi, because <clears throat> I really need her, even though I really have a because number one, Kokomi is the without a shadow of a doubt the best healer in the entire game, even though I talk about her during her, re during her release so I take back what I said during, during, um, during my uh, my character demo reaction which is like what two years ago and uh, number two I, I, I really need her for my Ayakri to further improve my Ayaka Freeze team so, so yeah I really hope that um, Kokomi will be available in uh, this current character manner Hopefully in the second phase of the character banner though, because if she appears in the first character banner, right, uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to make to save up. La. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to rely on the uh, on the 50/50 because I do not have enough to secure uh, a five star. Like uh, the, the as in like I do not have enough. I only have like what 130 or 140 ish um, intertwined fate, um, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I need like what another 40 more so that I, I can so that if I fail the 50 50 right, I can at least have 
I can at least secure um, Bokumi. Which is why I really hope that she appears in the second half of the character banner of 3.8 instead of the first half. Let's just see um, whether my prediction is true or not. So I think that's pretty much like what I can talk about for the character banner. Now then, let's talk about um, the main uh, the events that might go on in version 3.8. So let's use um, the past summer events as a reference. I won't be surprised that we'll be getting uh, a different variation of the Golden Apple Archipelago because right, I was expecting it, the Golden Apple Archipelago, Archipelago to be the same in version 2.8 but no, they made some changes uh, in it so the, they make it better so I won't be surprised if they made some changes in version 3.8 and if the Golden Apple Archipelago does not make an appearance in version 3.8, right, they will probably make something like an, an alternate dimension or an alternate universe or some sort. So, as for the uh, main event, so uh, that, that's, I think that's um, pretty much what I, can, what I can think of for the main event. And <coughs> considering the fact that Fontaine will be around the corner, right? I expect that this current event, they will create a bridge or a link that links uh, this event will have some sort of relation or, or connection that will link to the events in uh, version 4.0. They did it in a uh, version, some they somehow did it in version 1.6 where they introduced the Magu Kenki and they introduced uh, the very first um, Inazuma character which is Kaidehara Kazuha and as for version 2.8 um, they kind of tease us um, Nahida using her telepathy um, power to communicate with the, the traveler during the events in version 2.8 so yeah i won't so yeah i won't be surprised they put some wee bit elements of 14 in the events in version 3.8 to build up a connection or bridge that lead to the events to um, the fontaine arc and speaking of fontaine arc right i expect at least another teaser or a preview of some sort right at the end of this special program. They did this in um, version 3.7. They did it in <coughs> at the end of um, version 2.8 when they reveal bits of how Sumeru looks like. So I will definitely expect a preview of how Fontaine looks like at the end of this special program all right it begins long long ago there was a place in the desert called bottle land hmm you wanted to learn more about bottle land oh i left I that place love. long ago but i still clearly remember its beautiful sights even to this day whenever travelers ask me how to travel to bottle land i bottle warn land. them that the desert is a very dangerous place Despite the risks, there will always be enthusiastic newcomers who venture into the desert. Ha <laughs> ha! The treasures of Bottle Land are as good as mine! I'm sorry, Mom. I shouldn't have played with magic like that. Are they doing now I can't uh, find my way back home. The desert entices people with hope, but it devours that hope from the moment they step foot within its scorching domain. But that magic bottle can bring forth an endless and refreshing spring, revitalizing the hopes that had shriveled in the arid desert. My dear weary traveler, Kokomi? why do you wish okay. to enter the desert? Are you so determined to find Bottle Land? All right, I will help you then. 
Trailer time. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. Oh, in Sumer. Is that oh, you are in Sumeru, okay. Anytime and anywhere she wishes. Clee, quick, get in the light. Coming. What? Oh, come on, please do not tell me Clee Kay is the one that's getting the alternate outfit. And the free outfit um, goes to Kaya. I'm disappointed with this. I'm disappointed. Let's go! I wanted Lula to get the paint outfit, but you decided to give the opportunity to Kay instead. And hold on a second. Kokumi got hypnotized or some sort. Oh no. Is it your Sumeru is getting uh, a festival of some sort? Looks like Sumeru is getting a festival of some sort. Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on. Uh, I can't stand that feeling. It looks like the, the free update goes to Kaya. I'm kind of bummed. I'm kind of bummed. I was really hoping that Ula gets the big outfit. But no, it had to go to Cleans. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news! I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Who is that friend? I wonder. Wait, that's it? Okay. I'm happy that Yula and Kokomi makes an appearance in this trailer, but at the same time, I'm disappointed. Because judging by this trailer itself, right, the paid outfit goes to Klee while the free outfit goes to Kaya so yeah I'm kind of disappointed because I really really hope that Eula gets a paid outfit considering the fact that she has not get a rerun banner for the past 500 f days so yeah I was really hoping that Eula gets a paid outfit or some sort but no decided to give it to Klee instead Hello everyone! Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.8 special program! <laughs> I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether, and as always, I'm joined by some very special guests today. Hello everybody! I'm Poonam Vasu, and I voice Spark Knight Clee of the Knights of Favonius! <laughs> yeah, so Hello everyone, I am Risa May, the voice of Watatsumi Island's Divine Priestess. Not sure about Eula's voice actress. Wow, yes. So relaxing and elegant. <laughs> and I am Susie Young, the voice of the captain of the reconnaissance company and the spindrift knight, Eula. Vengeance will be mine. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, it's been ages <laughs> since the, It's been quite some time since the last time I will. we've seen uh, uh, I'm super <laughs> excited to have you all on the program today. Uh, and I believe this is the first time we've had event. Lisa and Susie with us. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! yay! Oh. I get to be mini Eula. <laughs> oh, this is the first time so Kokomi makes it. I've always wanted to be on a special Listen, uh, oh Kokomi gosh, and Eula's uh, voice I'm actress so makes happy. appearance. Well, okay. I'm glad to have you both here this time. Uh, we have an interesting format for today's special program. We'll be taking on some acting roles as we explore a mysterious ancient desert nation known as Bottle Land. Ooh. What? And in this process, we'll be revealing upcoming content for the new version. Please note that these special roles are not the characters we play in Genshin Impact, but just for the setting of our story today. Oh, that okay. sounds so interesting! It's like they're doing so a play or something. So just like they did I'll be the, playing the, a treasure-seeking adventurer in the desert. Of the special program. I'm a little mage who left Bottle Land. So fitting. 
<laughs> and guess what I'll be? A knight from Bottle Land. <laughs> and I'll be a guide from Bottle Land. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, wait a second. How come I'm the only one not from Bottle Land? Outlander, your journey ends here. No. Uh, you're not invited. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess I'm just kidding, Zach. It's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> and this fairy tale game has a game master. Let's welcome. Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Kimsey, and I'm the voice of Mage Alice. I'll be telling oh. the fairy tale with you. Yeah. Yes. Now, let's begin exploring the first act of our story, the Little Mage's Magic. Oh, uh, we. So, are we, are we starting already? Yep. No, Let's you see lost what the fairy tale will reveal first. And action. The exact location of Bottleland can't be found on any map. Its very existence can be difficult to prove. But I know of a mage who once used her magic powers to leave Bottleland. The little mage was practicing her magic, as the Grand Mage had instructed. Mm -hmm. As usual, she started slacking off during her practice. She already knew the Grand Mage's magic tomes from cover to cover, and she stumbled on some strange incantations in the newer books. Hmm. Teleportation magic? Oh, I want to visit every kingdom that I've read about in the storybook! The little mage was very brave and confident, so she was not afraid of venturing out on her own. In fact, she believed that the bad guys were the ones who should be afraid of her. After taking a few moments to compose herself, mm -hmm. she began to recite the new magic spells she had just learned. The God of Fortune was evidently looking after her. Without even knowing her destination, the little bottle and mage left her home. Wow, it really worked! Amazing! <laughs> the little mage seemed like a child in a candy shop. There had better be a very good amount of reason as to why pocket. they're doing this for She was excited to try all the different incantations ones. she found, as if they were different flavors there of candy. There better be a very reason why they're doing magic? this format. When spring water drops I still down wish pure that and clear into the future do, one day um, something like a... Oh, this is just what I need! A television talk show from just like how Honkai Star Wars um, special right. program does it. Let's look at I kind of prefer that format to be very honest. Show me what we'll find in this adventure! Oh, it looks like the info on the upcoming event wishes has appeared. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> in the first part of version 3.8, Klee and Yula, Klee and Yula will be returning will with get their own event wishes. Finally! Oh, I'm so happy that Klee's back. Finally! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yula <laughs> is getting a Rewind banner a after <laughs> 500 oh, yeah. plus days. Uh, okay. Well, Yula wants us, us rejoice. What can we expect for the next part? Well, looks like for the next part of version 3.8, we'll you better be Kokomi. Yes! Kokomi, and the Kokomi on Yay! phase two. Yay! Okay, good, yes. good. <laughs> this will be the perfect chance to hang out with some old friends. I'm, I'm happy. Ooh, okay. I'm getting my hands on you, Kokomi. I am Kaya getting my hands on you. And what? Kaya getting a hangout event series? Nice. <laughs> nice. I love Kaya. These hangout interesting. events are great for getting to know more about a character. Very interesting. Kaya definitely has always been quite the mysterious but, guy. So I'm and speaking of hangout events, I haven't, was, I haven't done we'll Kaby's hangout that. event though. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even started yet. The bottle is still changing. I haven't done Leila's one, Leila's one though. And yes, the he, Kaya's on free outfit. Please, along with Kaya's. I'm a mate just like Uh, the design's alright. The design's alright. Kaya look, Kaya smile looks, looks Let's sneak off uh, the quite cool. Nobody else can know. He kind of looks like the, 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 a pirate from, from India. Oh 
my gosh, Wait this is amazing. Clea and Kaya are both getting new outfits. Oh. No way. Not sure why I can see it, but oh. please outfit. Please outfit actually mm. makes her look like a little maid. Oh, some people may so like so some people may like her new outfit, so but I'm so excited, y'all. So sorry. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, totally. Oh, guys, look at Kaya. Kaya's though. Holy heck. So amazing. I love this. I love this for Kaya. Arc. Hey, no horrible I mean, boy, but Kaya well, is sexy I guess AF. The styles of these outfits are somehow related to Virgin. Like legit sexy AF. Story. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a little I mean, bit curious. And, uh, about I mean, I don't that's mind getting um, Kaya's yeah, outfit. Yeah, same here. Because even the fact it's gonna be free, just like how other four star characters' new you. outfit yes. okay. does. Yeah. Sweet, totally. Oh, redemption code already? Okay. Which means uh, we'll be jumping right into the the events that will be available in version 3.8. So hope so hopefully from there right they will announce what are the events that will be available in um, version 3.8 and based on the trailer that I watched earlier on right it is very unlikely that they, they will be traveling to uh, the Golden Apple Archipelago again. <laughs> just like how they did it in 1.6 and 2.8. But I just hope that um, in this current event, right, the there's a... They put in some sort of like a new mechanism as a preview for Fontaine. Then I, I might be wrong, but let's just see how it is. And looks like the events will very likely will take place in Sumeru. Welcome back to the version 3.8 special program. We'll be continuing our story about exploring the mysterious and ancient place known as Bottle Land. Mm -hmm. okay. Our last clues came from the Little Maid, but I don't have any more story to share for now. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess I have something here. It looks like. A knight and a guide will be reunited in Bottle Land. Oh. <laughs> okay then. Shall we continue our performance? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Let's continue our story with Act Two, Legend of the Magic Bottle. Okay. Of course, there were travelers like who I found said, and entered Bottle there Land. There better be a valid reason the as most to why they chose to they're remain doing, there. Uh, there they, were also some who decided some to return to their homelands. The but their accounts of Bottleland were all very different. If you ask me, it's been too long since I've left that place. Ahem. <clears throat> Shouldn't we call it the Valurium Mirage? <laughs> Welcome back, dear knight. We're in Bottleland! <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, and we found lots so of information to share with everybody. So exchange joyous voucher for yep. so first Kaya's all, new outfit. Have our main and event meet for Vegas, she can tell and invite Leila. An island, like usual. Yeah. Instead, nice, nice. He takes I like it. Inside I like a it. bottle located somewhere in the desert. Ooh. There will be Wait. many items called Dryer vouchers, which are scattered throughout the areas. Travelers oh, so we are to uh, them traveling in an alternate dimension works. after all. Including Kaya's new outfit. Yes. <laughs> I need to get that. Oh, oh right. Yes. <laughs> well, since it's the desert, I think it's safe to assume that we'll be seeing a variety of terrain, you think? Yep. Uh, I hope the vouchers won't be hidden in some extremely hard to reach places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, but there's no need to worry, because the travelers are going to have some tools to assist them in their search. Okay. So, for example, right? We can use these crystals to help us locate vouchers more oh. easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are tra traveling and in an alternate universe. in addition um, to collecting vouchers, Bottleland also has many sort. unique attractions. Which, which they call it the Bottleland. So, first up, we have the preprints. Hmm. Well, there are streaming projectors scattered throughout the Valerian Mirage. It's said that if you place an object in the projector, then you can construct a corresponding item based on its original shape and the power of your imagination. Ooh, okay. Imagination. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But there is a slight problem. Okay. 
Well, for now, it can only display certain two-dimensional objects called a preprint. Okay. Travelers can Use open the streaming, streaming projector, projector to enter the world of the preprint and make some changes. Oh. But if we try to move straight through, we might encounter. Oh, I remember puzzle. this. Well, in that this case, this is like the we'll the the, pa paper the paper theater puzzle back uh, during the. Uh, to change the, the environment uh, inside, <laughs> which will then allow uh, us. What do you call it? That sounds awesome. During the yeah. that one Success. event, yeah. during the Chinese yeah. New Year event, wait to give it a try. Yeah, right? That was well. In addition to the pre the paper we'll theater also have a fun mini game was quite fun though. You might I just don't see. I just don't see the reason as to why people are opening the living hell. The choo cart. Yeah, it's so fun to me. Choo -choo cart, it's a puzzle game. Can go to choo -choo cart and I kind of enjoy puzzle games. Various areas of the right? Valeria Mirage to ride the cart. Oh, oh it my motivates God. your brain, this is so buddy. Cool. It's so fun. It motivates this. the brain. It's like a little baby uh, amusement cart. Well, not really baby. It's <laughs> going to <laughs> give me a headache. <laughs> I, I can't. Well, now we're going on the roller coaster ride. Okay. <laughs> so the preprints and choo choo cart we just introduced were both open world game modes, but next. We have some event mini games. Let's go mini games. First up is the Spino Blaster. Ooh. So get ready for this, guys, because this one's got a long name. So its technical name is the Crocomorph Vortex based Crocodilian Armored Heavy Naval Battleship Style Recreational Water Blasting Cannon. Well, that's a mouthful. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's an epic name. <laughs> I think my head hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you got through that. Me too. <laughs> Well, apparently, it said that oh, the name is an game. accurate reflection of its appearance and its underlying principles. Oh. Apparently, that's, that's what it said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it uses stored ammunition to fire hydro bullets. Cool. That's right. And as a note, because I know some of you will be concerned about this, the hydro bullets that it fires are safe and they're used for leisure purposes only. Yay. Safety first. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and once it's out of ammunition, it will take a certain amount of time to reload its supply. Okay. Absolutely. But of if you course. need to, we can also manually reload it at the right opportunity. Mm -hmm. Noted. Mm -hmm. So, use the cannon to hit as many of the target balls as you can within the time limit to earn points. Yeah, there are also different types of target balls to aim at. These include Ordinormy, Tiny Vantage, Ruhaha, Overdrive, and Dual Charge Target Balls. <laughs> wow. Ruhaha. <laughs> Ruhaha. <laughs> That's quite the list. <laughs> yeah, some, some fun names in there, huh? <laughs> uh, so a notable projectile is the Overdrive Ball. So travelers can break it to enter an enhanced state, during which you will gain infinite ammo. <gasps> Love and power. Uh, also, I'll take it. yeah, right? So when your bullets hit the targets in this state, they will cause damage in a larger AOE. Travelers will definitely have a blast with this mechanic. So, give it a shot. <laughs> uh, this should be a fun mini game. I love, Thank you. love a good pun. <laughs> I'll be here. This should be a fun mini game. <laughs> so next up, we have Sojourns of the Barking Fox. Sojourns of the Barking Travelers Fox. Travelers will have to control the this? Barking Fox to reach the destination within the time limit. They'll okay. also have to collect as many adventure coins as possible while moving the fox. How is that a fox? So the coins are projections you can pass through? Oh, How is that so creature a fox? <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. So this mini game will contain sleet dross fruit, which can obstruct traveler's sight. What a... Players will also encounter disruptor orbs, which emit disruption waves. But these disruption waves don't seem like they're dealing any real damage to us. Yeah, thankfully not. <laughs> so these disruption waves, they won't be damaging the barking fox. Oh. They will just trigger a sensor that reduces the remaining time of the challenge as well as your score. So our little barking fox buddy will be safe. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Love that. <laughs> now, guess what our next mini game is? <laughs> it's called Dance of Flashing Thought. Ooh. Dance of Flashing Thought. <laughs> nice. That totally sounds like a game for Eula. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, okay. It sounds like a dancing event, but it's actually a combat mini game. It's an ass whooping game. It just game. happens to take place on a stage. I'm sorry. And I mean, an ass a whooping mini game. Theater. I love the theater. Pretty fancy, right? Mm -hmm. So before starting, travelers will be able to adjust their party to fit the special features of the different stages. During the challenge, you can defeat opponents yep. to accumulate honed will. It's and an ass whooping mini game. you've gathered enough, you'll obtain honed focus effects. And that's what the light is. Go for it. 
Wow, they defeated all those monsters almost immediately. Yeah, right? Really cool, it right? It seems like the movement <laughs> I mean, get destroyed. In, in a Genshin yeah, that's event, one of the buffs you can get. That's without pretty a, epic. So without epic. an Ezreal being a mini game of some sort. And so finally, we have our last mini game. Bing okay, bang the theme fishbowl. of this mini game is the rum roll. Ding! Finches are the cutest. What? Huh? Okay, this is our last new. mini game is called Bing Bang Finchball. Amazing. So I've got a finch fact. Oh, it said that pinball. Take flight. Oh no 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 no! Down using their weight and slide down a short distance before using the rebound to accelerate. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So uh, I think I know what this game is all about. This is one of the inspirations for Finchball. I see. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to be launching a certain I know what this game is. I forgot what's the order. official name though. I'm so Place sorry. As many finch balls as you can. In high but this scoring, game is um, is based is based on a real life game as a matter of fact. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you'll need to know the differences between the various zones. Hmm. So, if the finch ball stops inside the red zone, you will earn four points. If okay. it stops within a yellow zone, you will earn two points. And if it lands within a blue zone, it will just be one point. Ah, oh, okay, got it. Yeah. So you, you have to control your your right your strength for this one. Set the direction before entering the ah, charging sequence. I forgot what's the official Release name of this uh, mini game, the one. In the corresponding direction. So, because this mini game um, kind of happens in real life as well. You'll find that there's some, right. some finesse to getting it right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and in addition to ordinary finch balls, they also have. Some very special types. Mm, okay. Sticky finch balls and pretty finch balls. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, look, the sticky finch oh, balls. Oh, boy, give me this a is going to be fun. Oh, that's so cute. Stop it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Yeah, because the last one was quite generic, but if they do something like this, this should be interesting. Oh, and I still have I mean, more this news. is something new as in a matter of fact. Right? They have never done this kind of mini game before. We also have some info about upcoming events outside the game. Oh, Hoya, Hoya Fest 2023, 2023 is okay. just around the corner. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure they will use this Starting opportunity July, to pro Hoya Hoya promote, will promote uh, bring you Fontaine. All sorts of exciting online and offline or, Hoya Fest events. Or to be precise, Whether it's Hoya Fest exclusive merchandise, awesome offline events, and rewards both in and out of the game. We are excited to see our travelers participate in these events. Travelers who would like to learn more about these events should follow Genshin Impact's official social media channels and keep an eye out for more related info in the future. Oh, heck yeah. Super excited. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> also, Genshin Impact's third commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 3, will be released during version 3.8. Is that Thing when she was, she was young? I know some travelers have been highly anticipating this one. Correct me if I'm wrong. The album includes three it discs like by Thing when she was young. which contain the original music of version 3.0 to version 3.8. This album will include music from storyline videos and animations as well as version-specific events. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, so excited for this. Wait, so that means that it should include music from the Sub Zero's Festival and the RNR music, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet some travelers remember that event. The music oh, was so Oh, please do so not remind me of the right? RNR <laughs> yeah, Have it on repeat. The album that, will also that feature Rock music is from the Wind ridiculous long. And even the music the from Sub our version 3.8 was Galurium right Mirage event. But Let's the RNR World Quest is just. Ugh! Not gonna go through that again. Never in a million years. Which is why I'm just gonna stick um, with only one Genshin account. Sebi? Welcome back, everyone! We've already introduced a bunch of exciting events, but do we have other updates for this version? Mm-hmm. We still have lots of content to introduce. Oh, Everything we've content? covered so okay. far was related to the limited time map. We still have more surprises for you. Ah, right. Looks like we're not done yet. Well, let me see here. Uh, okay, this is my part. All right, then. Let's begin the third act of our story. Adventurers Treasures. Adventures Treasures? Where am I? What a strange place. Huh? 
who are you two? <laughs> That's exactly what we'd like to ask you, mister. Uh, it's all right. I invited him here. Welcome to Bottle Land. This is Bottle Land? Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right, then where's the legendary treasure? It's right here on this map. If you find it, what? then it's yours. Oh, wait, that's all there is to it? Really? Uh, okay then. Okay, well, that's a bit weird. I didn't expect I'd get the info so easily. <laughs> Let's see, the first event is called Shared Sight. Okay, more In this events. event, travelers Ooh. will assist a researcher who is collecting experimental data. We will need to use an item called the inscribed mirror to find and recover small animals in order to complete the experiment. Wait, what? Travelers so what, may we, use the device linked to the inscribed we, mirror to view uh, the environment from the animal's point hunt? of view. Mm. Use Animal the information hunting? from what you can see to figure out their location and recover them. The second event is called Perilous Expedition. Ooh. Travelers will need to help a Liyue adventurer study Sumeru's geography and hydrology. But despite its name, this will actually be a combat event. Cool! Ooh, I love Hi. fighting combat! Okay. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> During the event, a new area will oh, unlock for us brilliant. to explore each day. More as and we need to fight our way through. Event. Each exploration Good. consists of three combat rounds. If the team compositions are varied enough, then a stackable buff will be activated. Each exploration has different challenges. This will be a great chance for players to test out different character combinations. I love that. Yeah, Fun. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Our third event is called Adventurer's Trials Advance. What? The branch master of the Mondstadt Adventurer's Guild has prepared new challenges to help train rookie adventurers. In the sequential trials, you will need to pass three consecutive trial challenges in a single run. As for fortuitous trials, Three trial challenges will be randomly generated after you enter the domain. Oh, this is there practically will be a variety of fun mini games. This is the, such the as same thing as collecting um, adventure coins back while dodging in, uh, attacks, kicking slimes in. into the goals, and skillfully yeah, dodging. Yeah, it's the same thing as the back into the game. This means this uh, mini game. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> but that's not all. Genius what? Invocation TCG will also be receiving an update. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> new character cards will be added, and a new game mode new called the Forge cards. Realms Temper Ooh. Endless Swarm will be available in version 3.8. Different stages will feature ah! special rules with different Candace, buffs and a variety Yenfei of opponents and to battle against. Defeat these okay, opponents fair to enough. increase your score. Okay, I get it. So, travelers will need to pit their well-constructed decks against endless waves of enemies for a set amount of rounds. The more enemies you defeat, the more points you earn. That's right. Yes! Well, that covers just, everything we have for I'll version 3.8. Um, I'll just keep playing, playing carefully. Thank you very it's much. much. Yeah. <laughs> Love well, our story about the Bottle Land expedition is finally drawing to a close. Oh, All right. Wait, already. you better give us information <laughs> on Fontaine, buddy. Age? She still hasn't returned since she left home, right? Oh, you're, oh, right. you're right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it says here that the little mage saved the parched adventurer in the desert, and the adventurer led her on a wonderful journey. Oh, oh okay, cool. You. Gotcha. <laughs> well, tell me, did you enjoy this little story? Yeah, I liked yeah. it. Yeah. That's um, Alice's uh, voice okay. actress, by the way. Oh, Please, mother. what a tough crowd. But it's all right. I have another little tale that I'll share once everyone has finished discussing their impressions from today. Well... Looks like it's it that better time be again. Fontaine. What did you all think about being on the special program it today? It better be Fontaine. Anything you're particularly looking forward to in version 3.8? Mm, as a teaser, you could say that the Secret Summer Paradise event is a gift that Alice made for her daughter Clee. And I hope everyone can enjoy Just the adorable like adventure and enjoy all the fun updates in this version. Like the sticky finch balls. I love them so much. Yes, I know. I, I can't wait for all of it. So it all seems like so much fun. Is leave, um, um, I think my favorite's gotta be the new outfits. Be the, the I mean, main focus from the ASC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so and Glee. Oh, yes. I can't. I love them. I love them. You guys just listed some of my favorites, but I also like really just kicking slimes and <gasps> right. the fact that yes. we're all coming back. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. All right. That's all we have for today's special program. 
We hope to see everyone enjoying the new in-game events. Bye! Alright, you better give us in uh, information on Fontaine, buddy. You better give us information on Fontaine. Now then, let me tell you all a tale. Good! It's a cute story. I hope it'll appear in your slumbering dreams tonight. Hmm. Ready? Here we go. Alright, bring it. In the nation of justice, oh my is God! <laughs> she is considered to be one of the most diligent in her duties, even among her kin. What am I looking at? Look how <laughs> she's working for justice in this nation, oh, even today. Don't you let this little melody in? size fool you. Oh my when God! She in size, she makes up for in her sense of justice. Bolstered by her convictions, oh my she God, this is the underground dungeon. Fearlessly by herself, if anyone suspicious appears, this underground dungeon is giving me the like those evil Pikachu vibes. She'll be sure to watch their every move. Oh my but God, this is for anything. The traveler is swimming underwater. This little Melazine will never act without Oh my God, and accuse an innocent person. Well, oh my god! Usually that is. Oh my god, treasure hunting underwater? Oh, we can't be serious. But if the upstanding outlander isn't careful, we barely underwater as well, oh my god. Then we can let the court decide their fate. Wait, court decide their fate? Please do not tell me that's it. Please do not tell me that's it. Ah, damn it! I want more! I want more! Oh, damn it! Well, uh, no surprise. I kinda want more though. I kinda want more, Fontaine. Damn it! Uh, Okay, okay. Alright, let's let's keep calm. Let's keep calm. Okay, so well just like in um version two point eight uh, we got a preview of um Fontaine. At least the main town of Fontaine at least Well I was but <laughs> I I must say, wow! I am amazed. All right, so let's talk about the um, the events, the the stuff that um happened in the the, the special program. So, as I uh, predicted um early on, um Yula will be getting a rerun banner on the first half, along with Kokomi. But I'm just bummed out that Yula didn't get a paid outfit, it went to Klee instead, but... I don't know man, I, I'm, I kinda have mixed feelings regarding um, Klee's the one getting the, the paid outfit. But I must say, Kaya, um, Kaya's outfit looks freaking cool though. No homo by the way, once again. So yeah, I, and but I'm... I'm just curious. What's it? I'm not really. Sh I didn't really capture as um, what they said, but from, but from the preview of the events, like I have a feeling that the that they will be traveling into a uh, a different dimension or universe or some sort called the Bottle World. Correct me if I'm wrong. Once again, I'm sorry. I didn't really capture wow well, what they said. I might have to check back again. Um, during a um, post edit of this video, but yeah, uh, um, this so yeah, that's basically there's nothing much I can say about um, the special program, but I just hope that in this um, special program, uh, I'm sorry, in the um, in the main event of uh, 3.8, right? Hopefully they drop at least three bits of. Um, Fontaine elements in it, hopefully, because um, Fontaine is definitely around the corner. In, or should I say, Fontaine is around the corner. Yeah, around the corner. So I won't be surprised, right? That 
in the events in uh, 3.8, right, they will definitely uh, put some haunting elements or some sort and create a bridge that will lead to the events in uh, Fontaine or into 4.0 so I definitely will be looking forward to that and the mini games were yeah some were quite interesting but not like mind-blowing level some were uh, quite interesting to say the least so I'll just keep. I'm just. I'll definitely be jumping, <coughs> jumping right in just to collect, collect more free more gems because I really, really want to get my hands on Coco Me. I really do. As for Fontaine, oh my God, that it looks gorgeous, man. Not gonna lie, and <coughs> it is. It's true that we, yeah, because Fontaine is the nation of Hydro, so. It's it's a no surprise that will that will be fighting um, underwater, but and so I hope we get more information on how the underwater battle works on and how the uh, the traveling or the roaming in uh, at Fontaine works. I just hope that um, Hoyovers drops a, a Fontaine teaser sometime later in the future. Just like how they did, they did it for Sumeru last year, and hopefully that we have a at least a preview of how of the Fontaine character looks like.